Hello, Jim here, scuba diving instructor in Japan. We're going to have a look at a video that I found someone had sent to me, and this is Scuba Diving Gone Wrong Weight Belt Accident on YouTube. 81,000 uh, hits, 81,000 views, and this was posted 2016. Let's have a look together. Here we go. First time to reverse flip. <laughs> Good grief, look at that visibility to die for, huh? Um, yeah, anyway, Cozumel, Mexico, I've never been there. Anybody been there? Let us know. Is it always like that's like 100 meters of visibility? Deep dive. Got it. All right, now one of the things I see here, I wonder if this is a function of the operator or if it's, I'm gonna guess it's the operator. I'm noticing these two divers both have, what do you call them, spare airs? <laughs> so, yeah, spare airs, split fins, uh, yeah, snorkel line mass. I mean, they're, they're, these are one of the, the pieces of equipment that really get debated slash beaten up in the forums out there. So let's see where we're going from here. It's a wall dive. Now, one of the things I've got to say, you know, despite, you know, you could criticize or not their dive wear, but look at the, the woman. I think it's a woman in front of this guy. I mean, she's she's in good form, actually. You got her arms wrapped and, um, you know, they're, they're both fairly vertical in the water, but I, I can't say anything uh, bad about that so far. But uh, let's see where we're going from here. Yeah, so apparently this is a wall dive where there's like an infinite or you can consider an infinite bottom, you know, a bottom where there's no bottom. Um, so that's always a risk. I know as, as a dive leader myself, you know, whenever you're taking someone into a situation like this, especially people that you don't know, they're in Cozumel, Mexico, they're in Cozumel, Mexico. I assume this, you know, as a dive operator, they just, you know, sign some people up for a dive. Uh, so yeah, you've always got to be thinking when you're somewhere with an infinite bottom where someone could just lose their buoyancy and, you know, go down and pop their ears or uh, go below a dangerous depth. That's always a serious situation, right? Yeah, so he's talking about, yeah, if you lose your weights from this depth. I think he said he's at like 100, 100 feet, 100 feet. So what's that, 30 meters? Talking about DCS Anger. All right, 10 pounds on his belt. What is that? Three kilos? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he looks like he has a, a fair bit of body fat and he's got no wetsuit at all. Aluminum 80, yeah, maybe reasonable, who knows. But he says his, his belt has a plastic buckle. Now, I, I've only, I think, yeah, I, I all my all my gear has had uh, metal buckles, stainless buckles, so I, I don't know about uh, yeah, I don't really have a lot of experience with plastic buckles. Maybe just a little bit. But it's going to make a point for him later. So let's keep that in mind, plastic buckle. So now his buddy that, that was all kind of nice, you know, granted, the, the, they were both kind of vertical, but at least the buddy, you know, looked calm with the hands wrapped. It seems now the current's starting to pick up and the buddy is just blown apart here. Yeah, so there's there's the weight hanging. You can see the weight hanging off the back there, and uh, it's a huge weight. I don't know what that is, um, but uh, yeah, he doesn't feel this, you know, because he doesn't have a wetsuit on the bottom. I don't think, or maybe those shorts are over the wetsuit. I mean, I think you'd you'd feel that that thing hanging like that. Um, yeah, becoming loose because it's plastic. I don't know. Please let me know, experience out there. I, I as I said. I'm not a plastic buckle user, but does anyone else have had one coming loose like that? I mean, coming that loose, it looks like it was just open. I don't know. Sure is. So now here he is. He's walking across. You know, he's. I believe he's stepping on the wall with his fins, so he's kind of not very aware in that sense, of maybe.
Looks like a beautiful dive, honestly. We got a nice, a nice look at that uh, air, that spare air. There it is on the back. There it goes. Right, so the weight belt just fell off. You didn't feel that, really? And look at this. He's not trying to swim down at all. Um. Good grief. How does he crash into the wall by losing his weights? He'd be losing upward, isn't it? It seemed like he went, just went downward. So he still had air in his BC. He didn't think, he didn't know to, to undo that. Good grief. Good job on the instructor here. Good job, dive instructor, dive master. Hmm. Alrighty, so there's the one thing that I always tell my dive leaders, and I'm sure these folks are very adept at that. You know, when I'm diving, if I if I have a static group that I'm diving with for the weekend, those first that first dive possibly too, I'm going to be carrying extra weights just in case, especially the first dive. Um, and especially if it's uh, a boat dive, right? A boat dive, you have no, you know, a shore dive, at least you can walk back, possibly. But, uh, you know, I always tell the dive leaders, yeah, carry some extra weights on that first dive, possibly two. They might need to get dialed in. Once once that first dive or two are under your belt, you know, assuming you have some folks for a whole weekend, which I often do, then we don't have to carry extra weights after that. So good on you, this uh, dive master or instructor. Well done. It's a good thing he has that spare air, though, huh? Yeah, she's loading him up with weights. <laughs> yeah, there we go. What do you think? Um, so the the plastic buckle was it? Was it the plastic buckle? plastic buckle users out there or dive operations who use plastic buckles. Yeah, this video brings up another fact for me, which is usually people are more worried about, oh, do I have ditchable weight, ditchable weight, ditchable weight, right? That's a mantra. We learned that right from open water. However, in my experience, just like this, it's much more common for people to lose their weight unintended consequences, right? They lose their weight um, unintentionally usually right when they come off the boat, right? They flip back and the belt is gone because they didn't have their hand on it. I am told at the bottom of the Spiegel Grove down in uh, Isla Morada, you can, you can collect a lot of weight belts down there. So something to ponder, most people are more preoccupied with the idea of ditchable weight versus, hey, you know, just keep my weight secure. Probably 99.9999% of the time, I'm gonna be okay. Anyway, I, I forget the name of the fella who posted this. Let me see if I could find it, uh, Brian. Brian, thank you so much for posting. Um, again, you know, this is something for all of us to learn from. There's never, uh, should be never any, you know, picking or bullying on someone who posts something. And I tell you, it takes a lot of guts, uh, you know, to put something up there and know that it's going to take a, a bunch of, a bunch of criticism. Um, I'm surprised actually, there are only 286 uh, comments on this. And uh, yeah, a lot of the comments were mentioning about holding onto the camera and not deflating your darn BC yourself, which yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree. Uh, but anyway, so uh, some interesting stuff out there. If you, <laughs> please, please let us know your comments on that, especially the plastic buckle. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Another uh, Scuba Dabber Reacts. I will see you next time and see you on the beach.